Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. This is not a joke video. This is a serious, super serious video about audio quality. Um, the thing about audio quality is a lot of people copy each other in the audio world, okay? Everybody is using this microphone. Everybody's using this headphone. I'm going to copy them. My favorite musician uses this microphone. I'm going to buy it, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's not very rational, and it's always, um, there, there's different arguments for why you should do things, and, like, there's, like, you know, everybody else is doing it. It's called, like, bandwagon. Everybody else is doing it, so I might as well do it. There's, like, all these different terms for, like, it's kind of like math, like mean, median, and mode. You know, the the most often, the median, the mean. You know, there, there's ways to kind of narrow in on optimum of a, a big sample of people big sample of something data how do you narrow in on what's the most average and right that's typically a lot of times predictably the best or the most accurate to something what is the average that everybody's doing i'm going to do that it's the safest choice so you see a lot of people in the audio world like i see everybody else using it so i'm going to use it and I remember quite a few years ago, I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to check out all these different microphones, all these different headphones, all these different novelties, neodymium uh, magnets and dynamic microphones are supposed to be more sensitive, more detailed, condenser-like, etc. So I went down all the rabbit holes about novelties and gimmicks in the audio world and stuff like that. And, uh, I, I learned what matters, what is... So many people use things that are industry standard, that are proven good, which is safe, and, and you can find some good stuff. But we're talking about headphones and earbuds, okay? So I have the the audio hype, too. Again, I didn't buy these. Uh, a company was nice enough to send me them to review them, and... Uh, I asked for them because they looked a damn good, and I am so grateful that they actually sent to me them. And in a way, audio is also, it's not just like, okay, um, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but audio is not just listening to, to audio equipment, because the, your perception mentally, like, okay, this is what sounds good, it has to match this specification, this frequency response to sound good. And that can actually have an effect on you. Like, okay, it's supposed to sound a certain way to sound good. Um, and for a while, I thought the Hype 2 didn't sound perfect. And I still don't. Um, I Honestly, the more I think about this, the more accurate I actually am. But it, it, the, the main thing is I started to like the Hype 2 more when I started to become more accepting of a different frequency response tuning. Uh... So if we uh, go on my website here and we look at the end game grapher, um, you know, and we look up the hype too, um, and we look at uh, my target. So this is my target um, with the hype too, and some of my complaints were, um, especially in the treble here, it's too recessed. Um, you know, this 5k peak ruins it, it's a little bit too recessed in the treble. Um, you know, it doesn't need this thin 200 hertz uh, mid-bass scoop. Uh, so I was complaining about a few of these things, like, eh, it's not perfect. You know, you look at this, eh, it's not perfect, mm. yeah. To my target, it's too thin. The treble's kind of recessed and deteriorated. You know, it's a little bit too prominent here. But, um, you know, then I started to accept this other tuning, which looks like this. You flatten this tuning, and all of a sudden it looks damn good. Damn good with this tuning. Mm. Yeah, it's still a little bit deteriorated in the highs. Um, yeah, it's a little bit 200, oh, 100 hertz lifted, rolled off. You know, these little subtle deviations from perfectly flat. And I realized uh, these differences don't matter. Um, to my tuning, you know, so my, my, my end game tuning, even the DT990s, 
250 ohms these these headphones you know um boop 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 I can't believe what boop 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 okay I just gotta even it out here um what's the point of this video get the sim got I mean get the the audio hype too um buy them they sound amazing they're the top 99 percent of earbuds that sound optimum you know get the sim god em6ls you know I, I i keep making this video i keep talking about the same handful of equipment because it's end game it's it's amazing you know uh look at the end game target em6l boom look at that so smooth so amazing flatten it out uh, is it a little bit prominent at 4K? Does it roll off the air above 10K? Yeah. But it's so transparent, so good compared to a lot of the stuff that people in the industry are using, like this. This DT770. Crap with these dips throughout the response. I mean, look at this. Dips, 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 dips. No dips, no dips, no dips. Okay, on the in game M6L. Um, so, amazing stuff, really. The uh, Simgot EM6Ls. How about them taps? I mean, I mean, look at that frequency response. That's the reason why I like to use diffuse field as a baseline. I mean, look at that. You know. Mm. The warm, boomy bass boost, the 3K ear gain scoop for a wide sound stage, the bright open clear treble bubble. Yeah, boys. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and then again, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, for earbuds, wireless, true wireless, ear IMs, we have the uh, uh, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pros, and again, we can pull those up. But let's keep the the DT seven seventies here and just replace the buds pros. The reason the buds pros aren't perfect, um, they got some dips in the travel. Yeah, a little bit shrill, a little bit deteriorated. Pretty good, you know. Pretty good, 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 pretty good. Uh, let's compare the Buds Pros to the uh, Hype 2. Just a little bit curious about that. Hype 2. Change the color. So we can see some... Yeah, uh, uh, you flatten it out. I'll use this tuning. I mean, eh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Both of them pretty good. Yeah. Meh. Meh. In game, man, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I don't know, I'm a little uh, junk, my little ham hams. Um, what I'm saying is, get the Sim Guardian 6L, get the, the Audio Hype 2, get the uh, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pros, and then of course uh, get the DT 990s. Again, DT 990s, amazing. These bad boys with worn ear pads again. Uh, you get the fresh ear pads. They kind of look like that. So fresh ear pads in orange versus worn ear mm -hmm. pads in green. Treble smooths out. They warm up a little bit. Um, you know, you switch. I mean, they, they change quite a bit in sound mm -hmm. to match my target. Uh, fresh ear pads, they kind of just get a little bit thin here. They're a little bit bright and harsh and shrill. But uh, once you get the worn ear pads, they warm up a bit. Uh, they smooth out quite a bit. And, uh, you know, the next thing you know, you've got some uh, really good sounding stuff. You know, you can get the M6Ls. The DT, I mean the Hype 2s. You know, I tell you to get all of these. 
They're all really, really transparent, but press. Yeah, boys. Um. Again, what's the point of this video? Oh, the Buds Pro is already there. Yeah, boys. Just get all of them. Get all of these. Like, I mean, again, Samsung Galaxy Buds Pros, The Audio Hype 2, SimGuide M6L. Amazing. Uh, DT990s. Worn pads. Worn pads. Boosh. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, you know, all these equipments. DT990 with worn ear pads rolls off the sub base because it's an open back headphone. Sure, there's a little bit of imperfections in the treble in there. But uh, overall, really, 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 the best you're going to get, my little ham hams, my little buttercup sandwiches. Best audio in the world for ASMR music. Video gaming, everything. <laughs>